Hey guys, this is Tyler, Mr. Trees Tremble. Good to see you. Uh, we're in early June here in San Diego. The weather's just now starting to get warm. And this is the time I start setting the citrus leaf miner traps. Um, basically, this is a pheromone trap that will attract the male insect uh, into this little sticky box and there's less mating going around. So, um, you know, I usually tell people, you know, you'll get somewhere between, you know, 50% less damage than you, than you would without this. Uh, it's pretty cool, controls the population of what's kind of currently around your area and is an indicator to tell you that you have activity uh, happening in your orchard or in your yard or on your tree and you can take other uh, means of action if necessary. Um, this is one of the best things for me. I usually set these in early June, late May, early June, and I put out fresh ones in August. Um, helps substantially keep them looking pretty. Uh, so basically without further ado, this is a great company, Pest Wizard. Uh, they make good quality stuff. I like, I like them. Uh, you can get these uh, either, you know, go to their website, they'll tell you where, where they stock them or how to get them. Uh, pretty cheap, less than 20 bucks. Should be able to uh, get this little two trap lure kit and you get two, two traps in here. Uh, you do not need a trap for each citrus tree that you have. You need a trap in the area of a group of citrus. Um, it gives you a square footage on how you know many square feet it is. I think it's like a thousand square feet or something like that. But uh, you know, less is always more. So you know, put one you know amongst a group of you know three or three or five trees uh, and see where you're at. If you need to uh, do some more spraying or other things, you can you can take that. But that. Uh, that's definitely the way to go. You don't want to put too many of them out there and end up calling more insects to your to your orchard than necessary. You just kind of want to control what's there. So I was gonna go ahead and open this up and show you kind of how to how to set it and what you'll find when you're in here because it, it can be kind of interesting if you've never done it before. There are instructions and things on the inside and all kinds of great information on this package about what it will look like and what their little you know. Um, but what you're looking for in there if, if you want to know a little bit more about them. Uh, basically, they'll damage all of your new growth on your citrus all summer long. As soon as it starts to get warm, they'll start damaging all of your stuff. So you open up the package, you'll have two of these little red boxes. There'll be a couple paper clips either stuck on these little red boxes or floating around, so be careful. Don't lose those. They're important. Um, you'll have a little package with the pheromone in there and you'll have a couple of these little twisty ties to hang it from the tree. So basically what I do is I usually just open up get one of these red little boxes, you open it up, you pull off the little paper that's lining the sticky part like so. Sometimes it's a little hard, some ways it pulls off easier than other quick motion. Be careful, this is extremely sticky, so you don't want to get it stuck to your face or your hair or, or you know, get animals stuck to it or anything. Just be real careful. You open up your lure packet and you have your little thing here kind of in the center of this little box, and I'll show you. You just, you just pull this little thing out. It's this little lure. It's, it looks like a little plastic pen cap or something, but stick it right on there it sticks right on there that sticky paper and right in the center there there's these little holes that are already kind of pre-punched out for you so you just kind of pop those aside and you've got two holes on one on, on one side and you've only got one hole on the other side so what i do is i take the one hole and i match it up with the bottom hole of the trap. So you'll see that, oh, look that bottom hole there. Bang, bottom hole, and then the top hole actually folds over the top, just like that, okay? So it doesn't stick very well. That's why they gave you these paper clips. So you take this little paper clip here, put one on that side just to kind of hold that, hold that flap together. See how this one's kind of coming apart? And you put this one right here to hold this flap together, just like so. So then you've got something that looks kind of like this. 
At this point, I always take my little twisty tie, kind of bite the end down and crinkle it down so you can kind of fit it through the hole right there, a little center hole. And I pull it like an inch and a half through or so, so that it's like, so that it's like this. And then I just twist it, twist it tight so that it just is kinked over. And we have this thing that's starting to look like it will hang. Now, you don't want to just leave it like this because birds and mice and all kinds of butterflies, all kinds of beneficial things, and non-leaf miners will get easily caught in this sticky paper and it will be very torturous. So you want to always fold this up, and this is a cool design, which is why I like this company best. We've got these two little things you just fold in the gaps and it's all pre-folded and cut for you. You just kind of got to follow the direction and you just fold it in just like that. So this creates a very small, my finger can barely even move in there, but less likely a bird or anything is going to crawl in there or anything you don't want to catch and you won't hurt anything unnecessarily. So you do the same thing with the other side, folds up just like that. And I usually, and voila. So then you hang this in the tree, on the outside of the tree, kind of head to chest high, somewhere in that realm, um, on the out exterior of the tree, because they're only looking for the new growth, and that will be good for you. Uh, I'm Tyler, Mr. Trees Trimble. Thanks for watching.